Okay, we are going to talk about the bucket method for division. It's an alternative to the traditional algorithm, but I think it's a little simpler because we use friendly numbers. So we'll start with the problem, 6,428 divided by, let's say, 26. So I'm going to draw a line here all the way down. And once again, the bucket method uses friendly numbers. And what are friendly numbers? Friendly numbers are numbers that end in zero or multiple zeros, so the multiplication can be done in your head. So when we talk about the bucket method, we talk about roughly about how many 26 groups of 26 can I fit into 6,428? Well, I'm going to start off with 100 because that's a good friendly number. And over to my right, I multiply 100 times 26. And once again, I'll be doing this in my head. I count that there's two zeros here, so I put down those two zeros. Then I do my 1 times 6 is 6, my 1 times 2 is 2, and I get 2,600. So I want to subtract 2,600 from the original 6,428. 8 minus 0 is 8, 2 minus 0 is 2. I have to borrow here, so that becomes a 5. 14 minus 6 is 8, and 5 minus 2 is 3. Well, I see I have 3,800, 3,828 left. So I know I can put one more group of 100 in there because that comes out to 2,600, which I already did my math. So 8 minus 0 is 8. 2 minus 0 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So I have 1,228 left to find groups of 26 with. Well, I can't use 100 because I know my 100 is 2,600, so that's going to be too much. So I'm going to try 50. So over to the right here again, I put 26 times 50. 50 is a friendly number because it ends in a zero. I put my one zero down here. 5 times 6 is 30. Put down my zero, carry my 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. And I see I have a problem. I see that 1,300 is greater than 1,228, so I can't use 50. So I'm going to have to erase the 50, but I know it's close, so I'm going to try 40. So over here, once again, I have my 26, and I have my 40, which is a friendly number. I have my 1, 0. I put that down. 4 times 6 is 24. Put down my 4, carry my 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So I have 1,040. So over here, I'm going to subtract 1,040, and 8 minus 0 is 8. I have to borrow again. So 12 minus 4 is 8. 1 minus 0 is 1. I have 188 left. Well, I could use 10, but that's going to be 260 because I know that, so that's going to be too much. So I'm going to try 5. So over here, I put my 26 times Five. Now, since this isn't a friendly number, I just have to multiply it out. 5 times 6 is 30. Put down my 0. Carry my 3. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. So I'm going to subtract 130. I have 8 and I have 5. So I have 58 left. So now I have to decide how many groups of 26 can I have in 58. Well, if I'm not sure, I can just put at least 1 because I know I do minus 26. 8 minus 6 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Well, I certainly can put one more group of 26 into 32. I'm going to extend my line here. I'm going to put another 1, and I'm going to put 26 again. I subtract. I have to borrow. 12 minus 6 is 6. I cannot make another group of 26 from 6, so I am done. So I add up over here on my bucket side, what did I use? And I should be able to add this in my head since I've used friendly numbers. I have 100, 200. 40, 245, 246, 247. I have 247, and don't forget my remainder, 6. Now, once again, if I'm not sure, I can check that using multiplication, and I can use the lattice method that I'm familiar with. But 6,428 is 247 remainder, 6. And that is called the bucket method, and it uses friendly numbers, and it's just an option for you instead of the traditional algorithm.